Yo, what is going on everybody? It is the Walkthrough King and today is finally the day we get our first Season 6 teaser. And there's actually a lot of information to take away from this teaser trailer storyline wise. A lot more than we usually get in the past. So I'm really excited to dive into this one with you guys. But first, if you guys are new here, definitely recommend subscribing and joining our amazing community, as well as if you want to support the channel, a like on this video would be appreciated. Anyways, let's get right into things. So lately, Fortnite has been dropping a ton of reality logs whenever they do anything or are trying to hype up something, and it is no different with this. Heading into Season 6, it seems like we are going to be getting more reality logs. As the first Season 6 teaser actually is a reality log video that they released on Twitter, and I'm going to play that in full right now. We'll break down the video afterwards. Reality log... <laughs> Does it even matter? What's the point of recording these logs if you're not going to listen? We've lost control of the zero point. Do, do you get what that means? You must not, because you're doing nothing. I've dedicated my life to the Order. I've given everything. And for what? To just sit back and watch reality end? That's not who we are. At least it's not who I am. Not anymore. So that was the audio log teaser right there, and there is a lot to take away from this. Keep in mind, it is only the first of a few teasers that we will see, so there could be some misinterpretation in this. I'm going to give my thoughts over this and try to break it down as best as I can. We have a second teaser that we actually got as well shortly after this first teaser, but that could be for something else, and I will talk about that later in the video if you just want to see that as well right away. I will have timestamps in the description, but let's get right into breaking down what we just witnessed. So as you had heard at the very end there, Jonesy almost seemingly is going to break away from the imagined order. And I'm very glad that they are calling it the order now. And they basically are kind of confirming that the imagined order is the official name. I don't know if you guys have followed my previous storyline video for season five, or if you guys had followed anybody else that had talked about the imagined order, but we only found out about the imagined order being the actual name from the description of the IO guards that was data mine. So I don't really think we've ever had an actual official thing from Fortnite itself in game or anywhere else calling them the imagined order. So I'm very happy to see that they actually are still going by that name and it's not just like a internal thing that we've seen from a data mine regardless anyways none of that matters it almost seems like jonesy is going to break apart and be independent from the imagined order as he's almost implying that either the imagined order is not doing anything or attempting to do enough to stop reality from just disintegrating and just completely collapsing or when he says you might not even hear this and you're not doing anything he could be referring to the players themselves but this i don't feel like is the case because a lot of the players are basically just considered the Fortnite Island inhabitants. And as far as we know, throughout season five, we were supposed to be actually distracted from everything that's going on. That's why we were told to do a bunch of missions. That's why all the hunters were sent in. Some of them are just very aggressive and give us a bad time and try to take us out right away. And then others you go to and talk to are, they're pretty chill and they just give you missions. And some of the hunters themselves even thought that they were distractions. I don't have the quote right here in front of me and it might take me some digging to find, but one of the characters actually was saying, why are we doing all this? Is this some sort of type of distraction? Something along the lines of that. I'll find that and put that in my season five complete storyline explain video that is going to be dropping in the next couple of days. But I personally don't feel like Jonesy's talking about us as we weren't really in the know for any of what's going on. So. I don't think that the players or the inhabitants of the island are to blame for any of what's going on. So this makes me question what's actually going on with the imagined order right now and why is all of this going down? Why is Jonesy going against them? Well, my other theory could be maybe he's lost contact with the imagined order. This one I'm not so sure of because as we saw throughout the season, he went and got various hunters and he traveled to different realities to get them. From all of the trailers for him getting the hunters, you would see Jonesy go into different realities and then he would escape with those people from the realities that he wanted to bring in. If he had this kind of power and technology, I don't feel like he wouldn't 
be able to not contact the imagined order. They're basically underground from the island itself. If he has the ability to travel to different realities and pull people from it, I'm pretty sure he should just be able to contact somebody that's under some sand. But who actually knows? That's one of the theories that I could think of. And the other theory is that, as we know, there are a ton of different snapshots of Jonesy out there, and not all of the Jonesies actually think the same way, the snapshot versions, as we know from Bunker Jonesy saying 9 out of 10 Jonesies wouldn't do that as one of his quotes what if the zero point affected jonesy so bad to the point where he's now doing his mission differently or he's just misremembering things or just not working to the standards that he usually would work and that actually could be the case but i don't think we have enough information to go off of yet to actually confirm or deny if that actually went down or happened and keep in mind we do have a live event that we are going to participate in at the launch of season six for jonesy we are going to do a zero point crisis mission. So whatever the finale of this big buildup is going to be, we are going to see that right away at the launch of season six with whatever Jonesy's actual plans are. We do see him kind of going independent right now. And he's like, well, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and take this upon myself to do now as nobody's helping, nobody's concerned. It really does allude to something more going on behind the scenes because at the beginning of the season, the imagined orders underground lab was just popping off the sirens everything everybody's panicking i feel like throughout the season they're not just going to be like all right let's not deal with this let's just forget this happened let's do nothing or let's drag our feet in doing something so there's definitely something going on with all of this but what we can pull from this teaser is that jonesy and the imagined order are either not on good terms or jonesy is in his head thinking way too much and He's kind of pitting himself against the Imagined Order, or he even saw that the Imagined Order was not it, and now he's going off to work on his own. Regardless, he is basically going to work on his own now, and tomorrow we should get more information on this. Hopefully, they give us another reality log tomorrow. If so, I'll break that down as well, but let's get into the second teaser that they dropped as well. I will play that right now. There's no audio for it, so I'll just be talking the entire time. It basically just says to shush with their little teaser text that's written sideways. And it almost looks like it's showing off the face of an owl. And a lot of the community, uh, maybe you've already seen this, but the community is exploding with people talking about this being a collaboration for a soccer player named Neymar. I don't really watch soccer, so this is not my territory. So I apologize right now if I mispronounce anything or talk about this in a way that is not the exact way explaining anything but anyways everybody in the community thinks that this is a teaser for an upcoming collaboration with a soccer player named Neymar in the initial teaser there was a lot of things hinting that this was it as we can see here is the jersey with this number and the designs are there with a bunch of different balls which also has the same similar design that is on the soccer balls there was in that initial teaser a bunch of different things for Jonesy too but but I'm not going to focus on this yet. And Neymar even tweeted some eyes when everybody started talking about this, which kind of further adds to the confirmation that this is probably going to be a collaboration with them. Going further, Fort Tori had tweeted out, what if we get a Brazil mascot as a skin or an edit style for Neymar? And the latest teaser has some similarities, which I agree as well from looking at these two images. There is a pretty big similarity if we look at this. Maybe it's just a coincidence. And finally, if we go back and remember, Tabor Hill, who has leaked out a bunch of information in the past, which has come true, said that he remembers seeing a big yellow chicken skin in his Season 5's leak video. So we do know that a lot of things that Fortnite does is worked on over a long period of time. A lot of these collaborations and everything else is thought out well in advance maybe this has been worked on for a very long time and they did talk about doing this collab for a while personally i'm a little disappointed if they do start going this far with collaborations to the point where when a new season comes out they start to tease a new collaboration if that is the case it really kind of does point to fortnite just being a big advertisement and i hate to say that as I really love this game. I love what they do with the storyline, where they've taken it, how complex it is, and just intriguing it is to see. I don't want this game to become a collaboration game, and that's it, and an advertisement for everybody else. As much as I do love the collabs, and there has been a bunch of them in the past that have come out that I bought instantly and really did enjoy, 
I would prefer a ratio of more Fortnite stuff versus collaboration stuff. And if we really look at last season, we got pretty much nothing last season in season five. It was all collaborations. The storyline went nowhere. There was a lot of buildup for the seven possibly returning and just a bunch of other little things that went absolutely nowhere. Maybe it will pick up and go somewhere in the future, but as of right now, none of that happened. All of that stuff went nowhere and I just really hope that they don't start taking these collabs further and further and further. But regardless, if you guys are a fan of Neymar, this could be some big news for you. And I'm interested to know, do you guys think this is a collab for Neymar or is all of this just a coincidence? Could it be his mascot that they are advertising and could come to the game at some point in the future? Or could it be something else? Who knows? We'll find out more information tomorrow and in the next couple of days. Anyways, this video's gone on for way too long. I'm taking off for now. If you guys are new here, definitely recommend subscribing and staying tuned for all of this new content dropping in the next few days. I'm going to be posting and streaming a ton. I'm off for now, though. This has been The Walkthrough King, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Peace. Peace.